Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another workout. I'm so excited to be joining you. My name is Jessica, and this is Adjustable Hit. So I know you've heard of adjustable dumbbells. Today, I'm gonna show you some ways that you can adjust high intensity interval training to best suit your body and where you are currently in your fitness journey. We're all about you making things work for you here on Jessica Smith TV, so hopefully I can help you do that today. So make sure we're just walking in place here. We're gonna warm up thoroughly before we get into that higher intensity effort work. And one of the things we really wanna make sure are warmed up and ready to go through a full range of motion are our feet and our ankles. So I want you to just walk it out a little bit wider. We're gonna take a crossing heel dig like this, just flexing through the toes. You can kind of pull your arms back to get that blood flowing. Good. Couple more like this. Now go ahead and just stand on one leg, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna flex and point the foot. So I'm gonna bend my standing knee to get my heel down. I want you to flex, pull it back, getting some nice dorsiflexion through that ankle. Good. Switch legs. So we're gonna change it out. Flex and point through the toe, working through a nice full range of motion through the ankles. Super important as we go through our intervals here. Good. One more, walk it out. Let's lift the knees up in front of the hips. Nice tall posture, just lifting up as high as you comfortably can. Just taking a nice little opposite curl with your opposite arm. Abs are braced in to support your spine, but you're not holding your breath. Good. Let's walk it back out wide, taking a little alternating toe tap. Again, working through those feet and ankles as much as we can. Take an opposite arm stretch and reach. Flex through the heels of the hands here. So we also start to work through the wrists as well. So we're gonna use a plank position for several of our intervals today. Go ahead and take that arm across your chest. We'll keep talking as we warm up. So there's different ways that you can adjust today. We're gonna adjust the length of our intervals. We're gonna adjust where we take the intervals from. So if you're just getting started, you might wanna have your hands on the seat of a chair. Make sure it's anchored so it's not gonna slide away from you. If you're somewhere in the mid range, you might wanna use a sturdy bench or a step, something that's a little bit closer to the floor but still elevated. Give me a hamstring curl while we talk. And then of course, if you're a more advanced exerciser, you've been doing this for a while, you can just go ahead and take your hands all the way down to the floor into a more traditional plank position for the interval sets that we do. So it's all about adjusting to where you are, not only in your fitness journey, but where you are today. Our energy changes from day to day. Maybe you don't have a full tank of gas right now that's okay I want you to honor your body and adjust as we go walking it back in again good taking more of a side to side lateral movement getting into those inner and outer thighs a little bit here good nice deep breath stretch and then finally the last thing I'd like to adjust if we could together is the way that we view these types of higher intensity workouts I think sometimes we get so caught up in this little shoulder roll, caught up in trying to burn as many calories as we possibly can, and we get this attitude of forced energy and punishing energy, and rather, I'd like to see if you could shift with me from that kind of energy instead to thinking about this being a workout to help strengthen your body, to help build your aerobic capacity and overall fitness level, but also just to empower you to find ways to change challenge your body, but always to take care of yourself at the same time. Let's look at this type of exercise, all exercise, as a way to improve ourselves, not to beat ourselves up or to punish our bodies. Okay, is that a deal? All right, great. So let's walk it out. We're almost done with the warm-up. We're gonna take a nice little side-to-side -side toe tap. Same arm can swing up. So we're gonna start to build our effort. You could stay low impact here. There goes my mat, sometimes that happens. Or you could jack it out. Good. And you're gonna see me show up imperfectly in moments like that. I shoot these in real time, in real life. Good. I'm never gonna be polished or perfect and I never expect that from you either. Four, three, two, walk and hold it. 
Okay, so let's do a quick little setup before we go into our first interval. So remember, hands on the seat of a chair, find your plank position here or mid-range, step or bench, or here. Everybody's in your plank pose. Brace your abs in tight. Lift your hips a little bit higher so you can really brace your abs in tight. Shift back, bend your knees, shift forward. So this is just a setup. So I want you to check and make sure that nothing is shifting or moving with where you're at. Make sure that your bench or your chair is stable and steady. It's not gonna be going anywhere on you. Now, we're gonna hold and we're gonna get started with our first interval. You could go for 15 seconds, you could go for 30, or you can go for 45. Getting ready to take off, we're gonna take a knee, coming in as fast as we can, running it out. Ready? Three, two, one, take off. Fast as you can. So shoulders need to stay over our hands. Run it out as fast as you can. Here's your 15 second mark. Take a breather if you need it. Here's your 30 second mark. Active recovery. Hamstring curls, if you're still going to 45, go for it, I'll time you. I'll let you know. Meet us here when you're ready. Now, it may not be exactly 15, 30, or 45. Do what you can, 45 seconds, everybody breathes. Recover, so breathe, check in, adjust. We're gonna go that route again, same movement. We're gonna do each one at least three times so you can practice it. As you get more fit, you're gonna recover your breathing faster. As you get started, you might need longer recovery times. So what that means is if we start again and you're not back to a more normal, not panting level with your breath, you're gonna sit it out maybe for the first 15 seconds and then jump back in when you can. Yes, if you're more ready to go faster than I am, hit the deck and get started and we'll meet you there. So we got about 15 seconds of recovery left. Same running knee. Hands on the floor, on your bench or step, or a chair. Get set up in your plank position. I'm gonna show you that chair one more time. Ready? Here we go, take off, go. Shoulders over your hands. Run it strong. Going back to my bench. You keep going where you need to, and you can adjust higher or lower, 15 second mark. <laughs> 30 seconds, breathe, hamstring curl. So hamstring curl, just open up the front of the thighs, deep breaths, keep going. 45 seconds, you're here. Everybody breathes, side to side. One more round, same movement. So as you do this more often, maybe you're gonna start at the chair on round one, step for round two, mat for round three. See what's working. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. We just wanna keep the body moving, but breathing. Good, you're doing great. Here's your 30 second recovery mark. If you need more time, you're gonna take it. Sit out those first 15 seconds. If you need less time, get started as soon as you're ready. Okay, last time with those running knees. Chair, bench, or floor. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Start it off. Now, you can go faster than the speed of the music. You could go slower. You could tap. Maybe by round three, your tank is getting kind of tapped. See what you need to do. 15 second mark, you're there. I'm gonna come back to my chair even. Whew. 30 second mark. Keep breathing. If 
you're going to 45, I'll let you know. Keep breathing. Hamstring curls, 45 seconds. Everybody breathes. You're doing great. All right, so we're gonna switch up our move for this next time around. I call this one the jack out and in. So a little bit more time up and down. Again, see what feels good to your body. You're gonna set the speed and the pace. So you keep recovering. Let me give you a little preview of what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna face the chair or the, the step or the floor. Arms up, squat it down. Walk or jump your feet back and together. Give me a jack out and in. Come back to your squat. Up, in and out. You can tap it. Or hop it, it's up to you. So a little bit faster, it looks like this. Out and in. Out and in. In and out. Hands can do whatever feels comfortable to you. Maybe you wanna throw in a couple more jacks at the top and the bottom. Make it work. Chair, step or floor. Getting ready. In three, two, one. Clock starts now, here we go. Back and jack, up and jack. Back and jack, up and jack. Whatever it takes to get your heart rate up, 15 seconds are done. seconds if you want a little bonus finisher you can stay at the top and jack here three two one 45 seconds recover so it's a little different this time around but still adjustable catch your breath if you need a towel towel down grab some water now I don't recommend doing hit outside in the sun. A little side note. Anyway, you got this. Let's switch up a recovery move. Little crop back, tap it. So still moving, still breathing, opening up the body, the breath. Okay, so setting it up again. Hands on the floor, on the step, or on the chair. Jack from your plank. Jack at the top, coming in and out of that squat position to transition. You can join me for that bonuser at the end, those extra jacks or not, totally up to you. Let's get ready to get it set up. In three, two, one. Here we go, guys, let's do it. So remember, you're not following me. You're doing what's working for you. Fifteen seconds, you're already here. Big effort. Thirty seconds. Bonus finisher if you want it for those jacks. Or you can keep going where you were. Three, two, one, recover. Cross it back. Breathe. You're doing amazing. We have one more round of those. Catch your breath. Drink some water if you need to. Towel off. Focus on recovering your breathing. You're doing great. Hang tight. So again, evaluate. Do I need to take a little more time for this breather? Do I need a little less time and I'm ready to jump in? Third set, maybe you want to challenge with your hands on the floor this time. See how you're doing, see how you're feeling. We're getting ready to take it in to that last jack set. In three, two, one, ready. Let's take off, here we go.
Come on, you got this. 15 seconds, you're done. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you gotta up level and push to the next level. Keep staying challenged. 30 seconds option. Jack it up. Bonus power if you want it. Come on, we're there. Three, two, one. Recovery. <sighs> Amazing, guys. Breathe it out. You're doing great. Third and final movement. We're gonna go back to holding that plank position. One of my faves. It's called a lizard lunge. Sounds kind of funky. Let me show it to you while you keep recovering. Tap back, just breathe. So, I'm gonna step forward on one leg. I can tap back and switch quickly or I'm gonna push off, pike and switch my feet. This is a tough one. I saved it for a third set for a reason. Do what you need to do. You may also wanna modify it with that knee run again, but just take your knees more to the outside of your elbows. So you have options, you have ways to adjust it. Whatever you choose, go big during that interval time, however long you wanna go. Get ready. Three, two, one. So outside knee or lizard lunge, step or hop. Other alternative was that outside knee, run. Make it work for you, land softly if you're doing the lizard lunge. 15 second mark, here's what you look like on that chair. Remember, we're working with your body, not against it. 30 second interval, bonus power, skater if you want it. So if you need a break from that lunge, but you wanna keep powering, skate it out faster or slower, leap or tap. 45 second mark, everybody breathes. Shake it out. Open, deep breaths, towel off if you need it. Good, water if you need to. You're doing amazing. This is about building your strength and stamina here. Pushing your limits, moving past them, but without wearing yourself out completely. I need you to have enough energy for whatever is left of your day today, okay? So don't burn it all out. Okay, round two, same move. You know what's coming, adjust it as needed. Ready? Let's get it done. Go for it. Light landing if you're doing that lizard lunge. Pike the hips. 15 seconds. seconds option for that skater final push if you want it or you're just breathing shaking out the feet God. come on you got this I'm doing this right here with you I am sweating working hard too remember guys this is a once in a while 45 seconds shake it out training you're not doing this every day if you're really advanced Maybe one to two times per year week, max. If you're just starting out, maybe every other week, one time. Build it, adjust it. Make it work for you. You're doing great. We have our third, final round. That's all that's left on the docket for this HIIT workout today. So, check back in. Ask yourself, what do I need to do? to finish safe and finish strong. Powering through the finish line without overdoing it. Find that fine line between taking on a challenge 
and burning yourself out. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's get it done. Lizard lunge or outside knee runner. Make it work. 15 seconds, you're done. you're done skater option think about what you're becoming as you go through as you grow through these intervals it's not just about getting to the end of the interval it's about how much stronger you're gonna be on the other side of it 45 everybody breathes yes good catch our breath let's keep talking while we walk it out so just a couple of ending thoughts here for you as we wind down. And I, so, I know some of you prefer instructors that don't talk. That's not me. The great news is there's something for everybody. But I hope that I can leave you with a couple thoughts for today. And the most important being, especially when it comes to fitness, it's such a great metaphor for our lives. We always kind of focus on the destination, right? I'm trying to lose X pounds. I wanna burn X number of calories with this workout. I just wanna get there and I'll be happier once I get there. The truth is, all that you need is within you right now. Even if you are just getting started, this feels like the hardest thing you've ever done in the whole world, it's okay. The more you go through challenges, the stronger you get. And it's really the journey that changes us. It's not about getting to that final destination saying, I did it, I've arrived, now I can be a different person, right? You are changing, you're getting stronger, you're improving your mind, your body, your health, your well being, every step forward that you keep taking. So I hope you'll keep that in mind, you'll think about that, not only as you go through your workouts, but as you go through your daily life. Just continuing to take those small, progressive steps forward towards whatever goal you're working on. That's what really changes us. It's not about reaching that goal because things aren't different there than they are here. You are already that strong, capable person that you're working towards. Be it today. See it, feel it. Have that same energy as you move forward each and every day. Thank you guys so much. Let's walk it out. Take a deep breath. I want to say thank you to you, and I hope you'll also take a minute to say thank you to your body, to your heart, to your lungs, your cardiovascular system for supporting you throughout this entire workout today. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and effort. I can't wait to get sparkling with you again soon. Keep up the great work, everybody. Take care.